Today we're going to be unboxing this bad boy from 2005. This is the Tower Records End of Days Buffy action figure from Diamond Select Toys. <laughs> Before we dive into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I am a huge Buffy fan. I love Marvel, I love DC, I love nerdy, geeky stuff. There will be more of that stuff coming. Um, I also upload hair transplant updates every month, so if you're interested in that, then check out my hair transplant playlist on my page. Right, let's dive into this video and take a closer look at Buffy. Have you ever heard the expression, Biting off more than you can chew? Chances are you have seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer before, but if you haven't, it is available right now on Disney Plus. So make sure you check out Buffy on Disney Plus. If you can get your hands on the original DVD set, then you will see Buffy in its entirety how it was supposed to be seen because it hasn't had the right HD treatment. But if you haven't and you've got Disney Plus, then check it out. It's still really, really good. Buffy ran from the 90s. You are the Slayer. Lives depend upon you. You don't like the color? Into the noughties. You stabbed Jonathan to death. What were you trying to do? Scratch his back from the front? It ran for seven seasons with 145 episodes, including the unaired pilot episode. So check that out if you haven't seen that. It's about 20 minutes. It's awful. Willow! <sighs> you are so very much a person I want to see. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, I kind of had a problem with the math. Which part? The mayor. I'm Buffy. I'm new. But it's so bad that it's really, really good. And there's also a few lines in there that I wish made it into the actual show. I, I don't suppose you'd be sweeties attack me one at a time. Oh, ow. That was my favorite spine. But they didn't. And the show's done now. So good, though. I've got Faith's tattoo on my arm. You're uh, Buffy, right? Oh, I'm Faith. I wanted something that was Buffy related, but also kind of subtle, so you wouldn't immediately know that it was Buffy. But anyone that asks me about it, I tell them straight away it's Buffy. So I don't know why I didn't bother just getting the big old Buffy logo on my arm instead. This Buffy is from End of Days. It's the penultimate episode of season seven, episode 21. And she's got her hands on at the side. She's come back to help save all the potential slayers. I'm not gonna give too much away if you haven't seen it, because you do need to see the show. You're all gonna die. But yeah, this is the Buffy figure and on the back of this we've got a close little lineup of this series of figures So you've got Buffy and Faith, you've got Graduation Day, Buffy and Faith, you've got Once More Feeling Buffy, Bad Girls Faith, End of Days, Buffy and Faith. Now I know season 7 was a bit hit and miss for everyone but I really loved it. I think it was probably one of my favourite seasons. They wrapped up the show really nicely I think. This is the Tower Records exclusive figure so you can see down there it just says Tower Records. Um, on the back of the box you've got the, the lineup of the figures that are in this series and then it also says the very very classic into every generation a slayer is born. One girl in all the world, a chosen one, one born with the a strength, strength and skill to hunt the vampires. vampires. Stop the spread of their evil blah 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 I've heard it, okay? Buffy Summers saved the world a lot. Whether battling vampires and demons, the master, Angelus, Maya, Adam, Glory, and even the first evil were defeated because Buffy was prepared to sacrifice everything if needed. Buffy is clearly a champion. But yeah, it was it's such a good show. You have to watch it. I'm gonna stop gushing and I'm gonna unbox this thing now because I've been talking for so long. Scissors. Let's go. I'm scared. I don't want to ruin the box. No, I'm not going to do scissors. I'm going to do a knife. Okay, so I've got my knife. I'm going to open this up really, really carefully so that it looks like it's not opened when I put her back in the box eventually. You would never know that that is open. That's how you do it. Right, so here we go. It smells so brand new. I love it. You'd literally never know that that has been opened. It looks like it's just missing the action figure. The joint down there is just like so, so neat and perfect. That's how I should have opened the last one, but I didn't. So, end of day's Buffy, here we go. I'm just gonna take a look at her accessories first because I don't want that stake to fly out again. She comes with a teeny tiny little stake. There we go, there is Buffy's stake. And she comes with her, I love that smell. That fresh plastic smell, it smells so good. Oh. That literally takes me back to 2005 when this was released and I was, how old was I in 2005? I would have been 16. 
when this was released back in the day. The paint application on the face actually isn't that bad. Again, it looks like Sarah Michelle Gellar. She looks pretty cool. She looks just like she did in the show. <laughs> absolutely love it and that smell is literally just oh, it smells so good you know how it smells like really really take you back that's this so let's take her out and take a closer look at Buffy have you seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Are you a big Buffy fan? What's your favorite season? What's your favorite episode? Who's your favorite character? I would love to know, so let me know in the comments down below and we can discuss. Are you serious? How? How does this happen to both of them on the same leg? If you saw my last video, you would have seen that I broke the leg off my previous Buffy. Oh my goodness. Really? I guess it must be just be the age. It's the age of the action figures. But like, really? Really? Eh. Right, well, I'm gonna have to glue that. But we can take a closer look at the side. This teeny tiny little side. This is like the most epic weapon of all time. I used to have the prop replica of this from Factory X, such a cool prop to have until there was a point I just needed money a few years back and very, very, very reluctantly sold the Buffy side, pained me. I was actually sending it to Australia as well and because it's essentially a weapon, it's a huge weapon, I got a notification from eBay that they couldn't send it to Australia so they had it destroyed instead. I was so sad. Just send it back to me. I would rather have it and have no money than, than just have it destroyed. That's one less side in the world. Anyway, here we have Buffy, end of days Buffy. She comes with the side, she comes with the stake. She's wearing her blue denim jacket. She can stand by herself. She's got a ponytail, good articulation in her neck. She's again got articulation at the rib cage so that she can twist from side to side. The legs have good articulation when they don't fall off. And she can bend her leg completely back. She's got articulation in her feet as well so she can crouch down and bend her feet. Yeah, she's really detailed, loads of articulation points. And again, like the other Buffy, she's got the swappable arms. So if you wanted her to have just a tank top, she can be wearing a tank top. And there we have Buffy with her tank top just, just standing there chilling. I don't think the face application on this one is quite as good as the one on the previous Buffy that I unboxed, but still a very, very good likeness of Sarah Michelle Gellar, especially for the time. She just looks a little bit more blank in this one. It does look like her though. She looks good, she looks great. But yeah, I, I, I really like this one, mainly because it comes with the side. I really like this, this weapon that they used in the show. I'm currently trying to make my own one. You might see that eventually on my Instagram page if you check it out. But yeah, I'm going to leave that where it is and I will see you guys in another video coming soon. Black Widow is out very, very shortly, so I'm going to be unboxing some Black Widow dolls from Mattel. So stick around, check that out if you are interested in Black Widow and Marvel and stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave it there. Please do give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Yeah, that'll do. See you next time. Bye.